So in this video I'm going to show you how to purchase a VPS on Opabubble properly so you can start your 24 7 live stream. I say properly because there are some people that pay like $50 on there and they never get their servers because they're because of maybe the, something that they didn't read or they mis misunderstood something or something like that. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do it properly so that you can make sure that you get your server and start your 24 7 live stream. So to purchase the server uh, you'll go to opobble.com slash servers and there are different servers there are like four different ones that you can buy but the gold server is the most recommended one so I'll go ahead and click on gold there so to purchase the server I just go ahead and click on purchase now here are the terms and conditions I also just that you still go over this and read the things that you want to read. So once you read it and you agree, you can click on I agree right here. And it will take you to this page right here. So you put an email here, password and login and pay there. So I've already done that so I'm not going to show you that part. Once you pay for it, you'll not get a receipt from Opbubble, but you'll get a, you'll get a, an email from PayPal. So it's going to look like this, uh, it's going to show you where you paid it, what plan and stuff. So I guess that will be your receipt, uh, so you'll not get a receipt from Old Bubble. And then about on the same day you'll get another uh, email from PayPal. So it's going to look like this, it's going to show you the next, pay, the next payment due date and Profile ID. Now you do not want to delete this email or or if you do delete it, make sure you save this information because you're gonna need this later what before you get your server. Without this, you might not be able to get your server. So make sure you save this. The most important thing here in this email would be the profile ID. So if you're gonna delete the email, make sure you save the profile ID. You will need that later. And then after those two emails, you'll get an email from Opable themselves. So, so the email is going to look like this, They'll telling you that your server is almost ready, but before, but first you'll have to fill out this form right here. So you'll click on the form on the link, and here it's really straightforward, um, first and last name, country, uh, do you, yeah, make sure we understand that, and then when was your purchase made for that if you don't know the exact date now this is where you need your profile ID so again like I said you will need the profile ID so you can fill that out so you go we'll just go to the this email here next to the profile ID there's that profile ID you just copy that and then go ahead and answer some more questions and submit there. Once you submit that, you'll get another email of the information that you filled out uh, just to make sure that this looks right to you. And then finally you'll get your server so you'll just open up the email there and click on view server so I'll click on it and when you open up your server it's gonna look like this you can open up uh, this you can go to the screen if you want to see now this is what it's gonna look like so when you load into the server it's gonna show you the recycling bin OBS studio and Google Chrome those four other things are the ones that I installed later. Now in part two, I will show you how to use these buttons up here and some more stuff on the files and folders. But for now, that's going to be it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try to help you.